Good morning, everyone. We are in Cumberland, Rhode Island. It is the 9th of November. It's a chilly one, 38 degrees. We are at the Atlantic White Cedar Swamp. This is our second time here. It's been a couple years since we've been here. So it's a brisk morning, but at least it's a nice blue sky. Cumberland Land Trust, they have such awesome properties. Very well-marked trails. Plus we're using all trails map. Hello, Mr. Sun. You feel good on this cool morning. Gotta love the leaves. Lots of oaks. Look at this really old chicken of the woods. Very dry. Most of the leaves are gone. Go wide open. The forest floor is now. No more ferns. No more wildflowers. I gotta get used to this cold. The wind is like quite crisp here this morning. I love the stone walls in New England. Makes me think about all the people that built these. Oh, Mr. Sun, you feel good on this cold day. So there's a big loop in here, so we're gonna do the red trail first. Oh, nice. I was just saying I wasn't seeing any ferns. These are wood ferns. That's awesome that they're still nice and green and looking really good. I love ferns. I always think it's cool when you see plants growing out of a rock. Hey there, fern. You found a nice place to live, huh? Awesome. You have to be really careful walking in the woodlands, especially when you're going down the hill because the leaves are blocking all the rocks and it can be slippery. Don't want to twist an ankle. Look at those splits in the rock. Very peaceful out here. So there's not hunting here, this location in Rhode Island, so we don't have to wear our blaze orange today. Rhode Island has different rules on the hunting, but I would always wear my orange vest. If I feel there could be hunting in an area, just to be on the safe side. American winter green. Look at those veins on those leaves. And they are kind of a shiny leaf. They are kind of a firm leaf. They'll stay evergreen all winter. They take really good care of these trails. It's been a lot of trees that have come down that they've cut off them. It is sad though to see a tree has come down, but it will make a home for insects that'll attract birds and other animals. And some animals will live underneath the rotting logs. Poor tree. But thank you, tree, for providing homes for our, our little wildlife friends. Here's another fallen tree. Clearly some woodpeckers were busy. And this is a pretty big hole. Usually when it's shaped like that, it's from a pileated woodpecker. I wonder if it actually lived in there at one point. So there's some hills in here, nothing major. But I do like hilly trails. Good for the legs. Oh, nice. Here's some more ferns. These are Christmas ferns. Imagine carrying all these rocks out here to make a stone wall. A lot of work. Chris just pointed out, he said there must have been a happy red squirrel here eating up some acorns. There's plenty of them in this oak forest. We're at the location of the poor man's house circa 1835 to 1940. So here's its little foundation. Wow. I wonder who lived here. Isn't that interesting to find? Hi guys. Nice little bench. This is American hornbean tree, also called mussel tree. It is native. To North America. I see how they bark. It gives the appearance like muscles. Isn't that cool? It's very smooth too. Let me see if I can show you the leaves. There's the dried up leaf or leaf. There's still some up top. Look at that blue sky. Here is wintergreen, also called tea berry. I showed a few videos ago how these berries are edible and Connor ate one or actually a bunch of them. Those berries are so delicious. So there is a beaver den 
The last time we were here, we never saw any of the cedar trees here. I don't know if they all died because of the flooding from the beavers, but I don't even see any bark that looks like from them. I didn't bring my zoom camera today, but there are, you can just see the tops of some cedar trees there, but not many. There was a massive chicken of the woods here. There's just some pieces that are on the ground. Boy, that would have been nice if we got here before it got old and rotted out like this. We're down at the other end of the park. There's parking down this way. This is Route 120. Oh, I want to go up there and sit on that bench and have my snack. Look at this, a little staircase to help you go up. A beautiful spot for a snack. Beach tree. Their leaves will stay on all winter. And I love the sound of them. They're awesome. Also has very smooth bark. You always say that the bottom looks like an elephant's leg or foot. Part of the trail system and walking on the gas line. Well, that was a nice hike, just a little over three miles. Beautiful, cool autumn day. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble, always be kind. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.